Hi everyone, um, a short video for you today. I've only got one record to show you, um, but it could be a another eBay bargain, or it might be a classic case of when eBay goes wrong. Um, it was on the face on the face of it, seemed like a really great buy, um, but um, you can tell with eBay, um, usually in a matter of moments, whether the person who is selling it has got any idea what they're selling um and i don't think the seller really did so it was, it was a very very um nondescript listing um but she had listed both the record and the sleeve in excellent condition and if that is the case then this has been an absolute steal um so without further ado i'll just set my camera up and we'll have a look together okay So, um, I might as well tell you, um, including postage, I've paid just short of 25 quid for this one. Um, this is very much one that I will flip. Pardon the pun. Um, because I've already got a copy of this one. It is a rare one. Ah. Um, and in my experience, they are quite sought after. She's packaged it well, so that's good news. Don't think this one will have damaged in the post at least. But what I worry about happening is that sometimes with eBay, you can just see what it is that you're selling and then select sell similar item and just list it exactly the same, regardless of what condition it's in. And know that some people do that. And it would be an easy mistake to make if you don't no records so let's have a look is this going to make me a few quid or is it not i know for a fact that it doesn't have an original inner but i've got the last of my stockpile there so that's fine Here it is. It's a UK mono press of with the Beatles. That's the front of the sleeve and it looks rather nice. There's the spine. Again, that's nice. Um, you can see that it's got the misprint. You really got a hold on me for track B3. Um, the sleeve generally is in nice condition i might lightly take a rubber to that it's ever so slightly discolored but you can bring that back a little bit with some careful work with an eraser like i say it's not the original inner but that's really no biggie because i've already got one Well, that's looking pretty nice. Um, not much sign of wear on that at all. That's lovely. It might be worth a professional clean. Um, and as you might have guessed, it is a very first pressing with the misprint on the label too and the incorrect credit there for money the later copies read Dominion as you probably already know if you're watching this 
and that is really quite a nice copy um, superb in fact there's not much sign of handling or use on that one at all um, like I say it does need a clean um, but yeah I think that's a win really nice I'm not actually seeing any tax code on it can you see a tax code there's not one on side B there. Doesn't seem to be one on side A either, which is slightly unusual. There's a little mark there, but that won't affect playback at all. Okay, quite happy with that one. I should at the very least break even on that, but I would hope to make, I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 20 quid. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a winner. Um, so, yeah, good news all around. Uh, lovely stuff. All right, um, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and I'm sure I'll be back soon with some more Beatles record related nonsense. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then please like and subscribe. Um, and I will catch you again soon. Thanks. Goodbye.